Welcome to live chat. Remember, yeah. Okay, so we're here. There's nobody in yet. Here it is. Yeah, it should pop up. Just keep refreshing. So now I need to turn the volume down on this one. Cool. I like this view with the corner upshot, but not seeing it. It says not syncing up here, so I'm like, oh, what did it say? Oh, I'm going to it. No, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> so now there's people popping in. So let's try and see. 14 watching. Okay. Cool. Great. Hello. Okay, let's see. We have Jewel Blue, Janie, Linda. Hello, I see you. We're officially live. We're gonna. I'm. I'm on a screen. I have a friend here that's gonna help moderate in case I miss important questions. Did you get on silent? Cool. Yay! So come on over here. This is my friend Ryan. Hi, Hello. Ryan. Good evening. We're gonna do a collaboration video later. Um, not today, but she is an artist and illustrator, and her mom's an author, and they have amazing books to tell us about. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm happy to help. Thank you for inviting me. Today. Yes, thank right. you so much for coming. Okay, so she's going to be off camera unless you want to see her. Hi, Cynthia. Okay, come here, Kelly. Come here, baby. Kelly, they say hi. And Kelly's here. Yay. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> There's a delay in the video. Okay. Jody says, love your bag room. Thank you. <laughs> so what you're seeing right now is part of the lug shelf and part of the Vera stuff. And uh, we get a few more people and we'll give them about five after. And then we, we can do a tour if that's what you guys want to start with. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> I'm so excited for the auction and I can't wait to go shopping. Yeah, and Kelly was just on. Jenny, did you catch that part? Mm -hmm. Hi, Taylor. Aloha. Wow. What time is it in Hawaii now? Oh, she is. She is. Come here, Kelly. Come on. Here she comes. Come here again. Anne Marie wants to know how do we bid? Oh. Oh, yeah, I have to explain that, too, because we're not actually... Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, there's Kelly. It's 3 p.m. in Hawaii. Awesome. We're jealous. Kelly's not liking being up the high. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so what time is it? We have about, about four more minutes. I'll explain what's going on. Oh, Abby gives hugs to Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nice. Hi, <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm super excited that you all could join me today for my very first live. Today, as you may know, is Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Awareness Day. So I'm wearing my, my shirt, and you can't see it really very well, but down here it says, <laughs> Unbreakable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Now I'm headless, so I'm going to put it back up a little. Awesome. Okay. Who I'm sweating already. That's so exciting. How's everybody else? More people popping up. Wow, we have 28. That's a good start. So Jenny said I was <laughs> literally just watching your video on the recent Juju Juju B haul. Nice. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so much fun. Said, I think my visa will explode. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say that I have another Jujube haul coming tomorrow. Uh, it arrived today, but no time. I have to do the video tomorrow. Oh, good. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of other people that popped in. Pug Paws and Anne Marie is already here. Yay! So many fun faces. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, thank you again for coming. And I am going to just start the auction today, which there's no shopping today. You can get a preview of what we're going to be shopping for. 
Um, all of that has been already on YouTube and I will put out a list to show you where all the videos are if you want closer looks at those items. But since you're here live, you can ask to see anything that you want in the bag room. We have a ton of Vera, we have a lot of Lug, and we have a lot of Jujube. There's also Cinda B, Stephanie Dawn, some Kipling bags. Um, by far the majority is Vera, though I do have to say. And um, Lug is probably second most and Jujube third. But Jenny asks if you've seen the new the new lug news with the vegan leather. Yes, yes, I did. I saw that today. Um, I think I'm gonna need that. Uh, uh, what was that thing called? It starts with a T. Something and I'm gonna need that and a tram to go with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at the colors yet, but definitely want to see that. So um, yay! All right. Now the auction itself will take place. Um, on eBay. So again, you won't be able to buy anything today. I'm still awaiting the shipping supplies. So I can't actually list the items until I have a means to ship them out. So as soon as those arrive, you'll see those start to pop up and I will most definitely put a notice on the system for you. So you will know exactly when, but today is just the kickoff event. And like I said, we can go through some of the items. What you see up here on the top in these two blue clear plastic bags, those are actually blankets, but I have two bags just like that filled with auction items that we have received. Hello, Miss Clara. Excellent. Amber, hi, welcome. So good to see you all. Um, so real quick, um, does anyone have any questions so far about the auction? I hope you're not too disappointed that we're not actually purchasing at this moment. It's not a live auction auction. It's just a live kickoff for the online auction, which will just be normal eBay. And what you might see is it will say 90% of the profits will go to CVSA, but it's actually 100% of the proceeds. But in order to keep the parts of the expenses, so I need to pay for the post office box for the year. It's like $134 and I had to pay for the shipping ply, supplies and stuff, so it's about $380. 100% of everything else is going to CVSA. So then, rather than sending it all to them and having them write me a check, I held back 10% until I reached that threshold, and then I'll cut them a check at the end of the auction for the remainder. So no change, 100% of the proceeds will go to them, and they are aware, they're super supportive and very excited, just like I am, for this auction to get started. Can you explain a little bit more about the eBay process? I will, okay. um, but I have to, I've never sold on eBay before, so I have it figured out, but I want to make sure and I'll do a test sale to myself. So still a couple more details pending. Um, so I can make sure I give you the exact correct data. I know send like, out a link. yeah, I'll send out all of that information and we'll do a video also to explain it real time as well. So more to come on the exact details. Um, also, I do have another set of donations. Thank you, Ms. Clara. That has just arrived today, but it's not here at the house. Um, I have to go pick it up. So more coming. Um, and for anyone else that is still considering donating, not just shopping, because we take all kinds here, um, there, I'll still accept donations, of course. I will never turn anything away. It will still go to the auction. And the auction will just kind of keep it going until the last item sells. So once it's on eBay, you, you select money to charity and you'll see all the items specific to that. So let me see. Any other questions real quick? Nope. Okay. Any shipping to Canada or just U.S.? Um, yes, Linda. Um, I haven't figured all that out, but if eBay ships to Canada, then yes, for sure. And I hope that, I think it does, right? Yeah, so we should be good on all of that for sure. Okay, so now I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Before we dive into some of the items. Yeah, but I don't think it'll make noise. Okay. Yeah. Um, thumbs up from Linda Good. Okay, good question, Linda. Yes, it was a very good question because a lot of my lug nuts are Canadian. So this is a very important part. Although there is not yet any lug at all in the auction. So... That might be something. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw something in. We'll figure it out. But I, I have donated a lot already. Brand new Ateg's items that started the whole thing off last year. Do you want to so, grab some water? 
Uh, no. I'm saying drink water. Drink water because I'm sweating. Okay, I have to alibi. <laughs> We just drank, uh, drank, drank right before this. I'm not drunk at all. We had a scoop of vanilla ice cream with a shot of creme de menthe, like little shamrock shaky shake, and it's super good. If you like that kind of thing, I highly recommend it. So that was our warm up for tonight. That and, was also dinner. Yeah, that was also dinner. Yeah, wow. That's okay. All right, so let's do a quick room tour for those that haven't seen it. Um, it's not anything fancy. As you can see, it's quite packed, um, but mostly organized. Let's see if we can get a look. We'll start with the lug shelf. So on the top, like I said, those are blankets all in there. The middle one up there, that is my black large dot um, from lug. And then the lug shelf, Shelf, everything down from there this whole shelf all the way down to the bottom and all the way in the corner there that entire shelf is lug stuff next to that we have on the shelf we have market totes on the top we have some Vera totes we have some beach bags and whatnot coolers and such we have some miscellaneous laundry bags and packing things and then on the bottom which I can barely yeah, point to oh no it's okay because I, I have to aim it but down on the bottom there we have like a miscellaneous pile some christmas ornaments luggage tags all that right here let's see if i can see my hand this is my water that i'm drinking today in my vera bradley water bottle we have some excess accessories that didn't fit anywhere else thus far so they're jammed between the racks we have umbrellas and then going to the top of the shelf we have up here all Vera Bradley purse backpacks, Hadley backpacks, which are also purse size. We have some travel bags and a stack of beach towels and a, a beach, beach blanket up there. And then coming around, or actually I guess we gotta come down this side. We have the plastic and travel organizers. Next to that, we have all the hanging organizers. We have a lot of accessories, mostly the purple stuff and my best in show doggy stuff. Below that we have four piece cosmetics, um, various ones all in this area. Across that we have grand travelers and other large travel bags get carried away, some messenger bags on the side. That we have weekenders and then to the side of that we have some smaller like compact and medium outlet style. And then let me swap sides here real quick. Yeah, we have some comments that this is the, like the Vera Museum. <laughs> and people are quite impressed with your organizational skills. Why, thank you. Thank you. I, I just, I like to be able to walk in and see things so that I can find things because I hate digging for everything all the time. So up on top, we have some underbed storage bags. Those all are full blankets, except the bottom one on the left has... Um, this one right there has beach towels in it because I'm using the ones in the closet first and then we'll pull out the rest. The next shelf there um, is duffels, like all different duffels on that top shelf. And the next shelf below that is, there's a lot of large totes on the left and then there's like Mandy's, Small Vera's, Laura, some other things like that. Obviously my iPad so I can help see the comments as well. Yeah, we have a question here. What's the question? Do, do you ever buy a bunch of stuff in a pattern and then decide you don't, you really don't like it? That has happened, um, but in tiny bits, uh, um, yes. Like I bought it and then something better came along usually is what happens. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, it's not that I'm stuck with it, I love it all. But I bought every piece with a purpose. I did not buy it to intentionally start a collection or I did not buy it to resell it. Although that may eventually happen because I'm out of room in here. Um, is, it, is it by style or by collection? Um, by, by pattern or okay. So mostly it's arranged by size and style, but also within that kind of by color, as you can see. So back to where we were on this shelf now over here, we have, um, like pleated totes and that type, my grand cargo travel bags, some Miller travel bags. And then next to that, we have some Glenna totes, more travel bags, some, um, Stroll around diaper bags, a grand weekender, and a lay flat performance twill bag. Emery wants to know if these are all yours. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, this is my personal stash of bags for sure. Um, the next shelf down here, we have large cotton backpacks and extra large. So these would be like the large essential from the outlets or the extra large campus. Next to that, the second row with the red, white, and blossom on top, that is the campus backpacks all in cotton. The one in the third row is a mixed. It's campus and iconic and some performance twill and some other things mixed in. And on the far right behind Ryan's beautiful head there, we have slings, mini slings, midtown convertibles, and a random assortment of other mixed bags. And then you got some bathrobes hanging on the end of the row there and some more in the cabinet on the end. Um, let's see if I can turn this down. Okay, the bottom row here, we're looking at from left to right, we see these are the extra large lighten up and reactive type, mostly lighten up actually, uh, like journey backpack. In fact, that whole stack is <laughs> journey backpacks. The second row is um, large essential in the lighten up from the outlet side and grand backpacks from the retail side. And then we have a mix in the third and fourth rows over there. You can see some Kipling on the top of the fourth, but it's a mix of um, drawstring backpacks, lighten up cotton. There's some reactive in there, some performance twill, but all backpacks. Underneath the shelf, you can't see very well the boxes, but there's Vera Bradley rain boots and some slippers and um, a pair of London Fog snow boots that are waiting for Virginia. Now, we're going to continue on around the room here real quick. Don't want to move too fast. Do you fast. have insurance on this room, by the way? <laughs> I don't <laughs> have specifically. Someone asked me that before, though. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Um, okay. Do you so, want me to show the boots? No, 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 no. Want to no, see the okay. boots? Okay. That's okay. If they ask for it, we'll, we'll definitely come back to it. But I'm going to try and set this for a second. And I'm going to close that door. It doesn't close all the way because of the cord and stuff. But, Okay. So what we're looking at over there, I have the two shoe racks, which are jam packed with small accessory pieces like cosmetics and pouches and whatnot. Do I have a count? I, I no longer count that, sorry. Uh, what was Amber's idea? I missed it. New video idea, let us pick your bag and accessories for the day. Hey, uh, Amber, I don't know if that was you that suggested that before, but that is a great idea. I can tell you um, we can start that today, um, depending on how this goes, but I already know the bag, but you can help me pick the accessories. Um, okay. What? I'm trying to follow the comments. Yeah, that is a great idea. I'm really excited. We will do that. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to move this a little closer over here. So this other, the closet right there, um, this is my jujube section. So you can see, just like with Lug, I rapidly acquired a large amount, and I just love it. So we have um, all jujube all the way down, and let me lower it. You can see all the way down to the bottom, it's jujube. And we're going to step over to the jujube for just a second, but I have to untangle myself okay hang on this i'm gonna spin your, this isn't your normal filming room right you no 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 in your dining room no okay sorry everybody close your eyes for a second i have to untangle sorry 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 <laughs> okay hello i'm back um okay so we're looking right now at the jujube closet and i just wanted to pan in just because we talk a lot about organizational tidbits if you haven't seen this is just a cardboard box that I decorated with duct tape. And so I have several. There's This one is as well. And I just duct tape the box and I use it to store. Oh, let me knock the whole shelf. So I store all my B sets and whatnot in them. You have a question about what's your favorite season? Um, Like season of the year? I would have to say fall overall. But I love all of them actually. <laughs> Um, but I like the cool air. So like right Jane now. wants to die and go to this heaven. This heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly made an appearance. We can, we can. Yeah, she'll, she'll, yeah, later. I'll tilt it down. Okay. 
Until I screen your channel, I didn't know what jujube was. Yeah, I just learned about it myself, but I really, really love it. It's machine washable, it's waterproof, it's stain resistant, and they have lots of fun patterns. Let's see if we can pan down. I have Hello Kitty, and there's some more decorated duct tape boxes down here. And these are all, this is how much I love pouches, because I have boxes and boxes of them. There's Disney and Hello Kitty and Harry Potter, and then the bottom one is all the Tokidoki stuff. So they're all just full, full, full. Yeah, so that's pretty much the majority of the room. Let me pan up. I know this is, you get in hand view. Over here we have a few other items. Sorry, I'm gonna crowd you for a second, Ryan. So on top of this rack, we have eyeglasses, sunglasses, glasses, cases, things up here. And then below that I have my lounge fly backpacks, a bunch of Disney, my fair, favorite character Tigger, and my other ones, villains. How long have you been collecting Vera Bradley? I got my first Vera Bradley bag in the summer of, or no, I would say fall of 2012. And had an initial surge where I bought a bunch of things in Canon, Indigo Pop, and Midnight Blues. And then I didn't touch it for a while, but then I retired. And it's been a mass insert of Vera ever since. So for about seven years, I would say. Um, but that's pretty much the bag room. Now let's focus on some questions from people. Is there anything that anybody specifically wants to see? Any particular brand or style or color of anything? Sorry for all the movement. We'll we'll settle down now. Is anybody complaining about getting sick? No, I don't think you're good. Awesome. I am gonna go back and read all of these comments later. So if I miss anything, you know, say it again. Midnight Blues. Yes, Linda. And because I love Midnight Blues, it goes really well with Moonlight Garden. Have you seen those together? Mm -hmm. Did she show the Vera? Oh yes, it's all over. The Vera is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Is there something specific you're looking for, Angel? Love the pouches. Yes, Amber pouches. She's my buddy. <laughs> the pouch buddy. Uh, so some Vera Bradley, Bradley and Linda Park Linda. Stripe. Yeah. Okay, I have some Park Stripe. Here's a big... Here is an extra large backpack in Park Stripe. Do you want to see anything specific about it or just the pattern? Here's a closer look at it. You can actually see the stripes. Is this your, is this your, uh, what's your favorite lug pattern? My favorite lug, lug pattern? Lug, yeah. That would be Bloom Black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, or second would be probably Peacock Multi. Uh, but I really yeah, love Heather look, Gray. What does that look like, Bloom Black? Bloom Black? Um, here, let me grab one. Is this for you or which one is your lug bag so far? Um, okay, so let's see. That is a tough question. Tough, tough question. Um, okay, here's Bloom Black. And this is in the zip liner. This one has not been modified yet, obviously. Okay, this is the Bloom Black. Ryan, did you see too? Yeah, it's pretty. So I love it because I love, like, my preference in general is anything purple <laughs> and dark patterns with bright colors i like florals and paisleys i like character i like just about anything but i tend to like darker bags because um even if they're wipeable and whatnot i don't like them to show dirt because i bought them to use them and i don't like i don't like them to look dirty so mm -hmm. i tend to like darker ones in general but i do have a bunch of light bags as well um, when the pandemic's over and you can cruise again, which mm -hmm. travel bag are you going to take? That's a great question. Um, have I hit all the lug? I didn't answer the lug question, though. The lug. Um, my oh, favorite, favorite lug I would say my favorites are probably the Mini Puddle Jumper 3 and the Canter overall. And the Splits XL as a wallet. For sure. I like it all. Let me tell you, I have not found a bag at all that I have bought from Lug, Jujube, or Vera or any of the other ones. That I totally don't like because I do all of my research before I buy the bag. So 
if I bought it, that means I liked it. And, and I haven't been proven wrong yet, but I do have bags that I prefer over other bags. And, and a lot of that has to do with my mood on any given day or what I'm doing that day. Like, do I need a backpack or a small bag or a big bag or that kind of thing? Am I trying to match my outfit to my bag or my bag to my outfit? What accessories am I looking for? So it's a lot of variables that kind of come out in my what's in the bag videos. Could I show the signature cotton small oh, convertible wait, crossbody? Another one. Okay. Up on me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Okay. Okay, we've got one about the you didn't answer the pandemic one, right? About what you're uh, cruising. Oh, the, the cruising, cruising question. Travel, I thought yeah. Travel bag. Sorry. Uh, or that's okay. Uh, what my plan is for getting there. One option is I have a purple hard-sided spinner, 22 inch for carry-on, and then I have a box or two. This one is in plaid gray, but um, I also have it in bloom black, which was what I was going to use because it matches with the purple really well. Um, so that is one possibility. I might do what I've done in the past, which is take a big backpack instead. So last big cruise adventure. I went on five cruises in a row, 57 days. Uh, it was amazing, epic adventure, and I took a grand backpack as my second piece um, with tons and tons of accessories. And there are videos about that, what I packed and, and showed on the ship as well. Um, but that's kind of my first plan right now. Um, can, we, can you show the, the signature cotton small convertible crossbody purse from BB? I want to see the size next to your phone. So, uh, the small yeah. convertible. Um, which one are you talking about? Like the all-in one? Signature cotton. The all-in one? convertible crossbody. Small convertible crossbody. You know what? It's in the closet, not in the room. Sorry. The small purses and things are all in the closet. Um, so there's more that's not here. Yes. Is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. This is like the bags and accessories. There is a full, full closet. The Vera closet. Uh, which is now obviously more than just Vera too, but um, we, we can do another video live from the closet. <laughs> Sorry. And do you have a preferred cruise line? I have been loyal to Royal. I don't have any druthers against other cruise lines. I just wanted to build up my loyalty points to get the rewards. So I had to pick one and stick to it. So that's how I ended up there. I do think it's a good balance of bang for your buck, you know, um, but every ship, every itinerary, every trip is a little different, so there's good and bad with everything. Um, my very, very first cruise many, many years ago was on Carnival. I loved that too. So I don't have any bad things to say about the cruise lines, but. And this is a really good question too, What's that? is how do you keep inventory? How do you keep mm. track of all of these? By should, the... I, should I go get your binders? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, before it got this bad, and I'll say bad in a good way. Um, Maybe you want to show them this. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, I actually did have an Excel spreadsheet that I started to fill out with all of my Vera stuff, and I have all the details, like the official pattern name, the style, what season it came out, what the MSRP was, what I paid for it, and where I bought it. And eventually, when I started buying in rapid succession after I retired, that got away from me. So I have all of my receipts and all of my tags and I will eventually sit down and backlog the rest of that. But it's, I, I've lost track. But the way I inventory it is I just walk into the bag room and I say, oh yeah, I have that or I don't because I kind of know where everything is. Um, and believe it or not, I mostly know what I have even if it's not on paper. But that's Vera. Here comes Kelly. Come on, baby. Come on. Kelly, you want to make an appearance? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Hi, baby. Come here, baby. Here, I'm going to tilt it down for a sec. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Mm. It's okay. Yes. Yes. Here you go. You get some love? Oh, see, Kelly, I know you guys can't hardly see her. All right. Um, Back up. Back up, too. I can't stay down like that too long. I'm too old. Um, So back to what I was saying. That being said, with the Vera... Um, I have a lot of catching up to do, but the lug I logged as I ordered it. So I have all of the info for everything from lug and Jujube. I don't have a log per se, but I have every receipt and every order thing print out 
um, in a binder. So I have all the records. I just have to put it into a spreadsheet. Cruise is expensive well, for Canadians. It all depends on where you're cruising from. <laughs> Um, I find that the most expensive part of the cruise is not the cruise fare. The cruise fares tend to be, I think, fairly fair. But a lot of times you have to travel. Like, if you're going to fly to Australia to cruise Australia, New Zealand, or to take a Trans-Pacific, or it's getting there and it's all the add-ons. Like, you got to pay for internet and drink packages and whatnot. Which is why I tend to do multiple cruises in a row. Because then I only have to fly the long leg once and then I cruise back, for example. Or I can do back to back to maximize, or rather minimize that travel time and expense. Kelly, yeah. <laughs> she's so fun. She's the real star of the show. We all know. We should bring Liam in. There, yeah. too, just to be fair. And and <laughs> Cynthia, yes, but points for sure for loyal to royal. Um, I'm diamond plus though, and I've cre crested the threshold for um, the solo benefit, so I only have to pay. 150% instead of 200% if I go solo, which is a huge difference in cost as well. Here's a good question here. Pretty organized. Do I have what plans? What percent of your bags would you say you haven't used yet? <laughs> there was a time where that was a low number. Right now, gosh, if I was to <laughs> if I was to look at the totality of Vera and Lug and Jujubee right now, I would have to say probably like 60% or more has not been used yet, but only because even with, you know, I'm not going anywhere for the last year. And in that year, just in the last nine months, I've discovered Lug and Jujube and acquired all of this. So it's just going to take time to get through them all. What is your most used bag? My, ooh, that's a tough one. I would say my single most used item is a medium cosmetic or that kind of thing, because that goes in every bag. Um, but now I have other pouch options, so that definitely varies. Uh, yeah. And uh, what happens when you outgrow this, <laughs> outgrow this room and your closet? Then what are you yeah. gonna do? <laughs> okay, that's a great question because we're not that far off from that. I mean, you can kind of see things are really jammed in. Um, this is kind of always a work in progress. So even just today with this detailed look that you're getting at the bag room, it's still only a snapshot because I'll come in and rearrange things. I did it just today, moved some things around to put things in better. So yeah, there is still room, believe it or not, to grow in here and in the closet, but not that much. I would disagree. Yeah, you think there's no room to grow? <laughs> there's no room. No, but the, the two part answer to the solution is, well, three parts. One, slow down the buying because I've kind of caught up to the back reach on the two new brands. I've got where I want and I could trickle forward. Um, the second thing is I need to start selling some things that, not that I don't want them or like them, I have a hard time letting go, I'm a sentimentalist, but um, I do need to make room because if I haven't, if I've had it for seven or eight years and I haven't used it, I may not use it either because something better came along or I've changed my mind or I just have too many. So I might start to thin it out that way. Um, but also the biggest answer to the question is, I have 40 acres in Virginia and I am going to build a house and when I do, it's going to have a giant Vera slash Lug slash Jujube storage area. So it's going to have a huge bag space. So I probably won't sell off mass quantities before that, but that's still a few years into the future. So. Vera Bradley, do I prefer vintage, modern? Ah, that is a great question. I actually get that question a lot. Um, I tend to prefer more of the older Vera because I think there was better attention to detail, the quality was better, and you know things like the trim patterns that were just well thought out and well placed so you get your exterior pattern, your interior pattern, and your trim pattern. So I really, really like that part of it and we've gotten away from it and we've kind of done circles all around and kind of starting to come back to that, but the quality has decreased and the prices have gone up. So to me, to answer the other part of that, the vintage piece, to me, my definition of vintage Vera is Vera that's made in the U.S. I have two bags, two vintage bags, technically, uh, maybe three, but for sure two. And so I don't have a lot of it. I've just seen a lot of it and the quality was just different. And what's your favorite vintage pattern? Um, yeah, 
I'd have to look at where the line actually is on that. We're talking about 2005 or so when they went overseas. So I don't really have much from there. The only thing I have is um, the fish black. Oh, it's not called that. It's the fly fishing pattern with the black. Lures black. Thanks for answering. I agree yeah. with you. He agrees. Rebecca GG. loves the older Vera more. Yeah, I just think it has better quality and better detail. And I would actually say the same with lug in general as well, in my limited experience, because just the fabric feels different on some of the newer bags. It somehow feels cheaper on some of them. Um, maybe it's just me, but it just, I don't know. There's something different about some of the newer ones. Not all of them, but... And it could just be some of the normal variances Lures as well. Black, Lures that... black, yeah. Yeah. Older Vera is amazing. Yes, I agree with that. Absolutely. Has Vera ever reached out to you? Ah, sort of. Yes. Um, okay, so initially, like I said, I, I was just like anyone else, uh, sort of new to Vera, and it took a while to build up. I only started my channel like two years ago kind of about two years ago and around that same time Vera started a group called the insiders it's kind of a marketing focus group if you will and they just reached out to, I don't know what, what the criteria was you just filled out a survey and they took some people in and other people not I don't know they took in about 2,000 people so in that way yes they reached out to me but it wasn't in this capacity however they are now aware because we have discussions amongst ourselves on there. And that's how I know Miss Clara, by the way. Hello, PSA. Um, and some of the other gals. And that group has been amazing. And that has kind of, we're, we're um, instigators and enablers. We sort of get each other to buy things on accident, just sharing the love and passion. Same thing in the Lug Facebook groups and same thing in the Jujubee groups. Um, it's all sort of, I love, about the bags, the community, more than I even love the bags, to be honest. So, did you take away her squeaky toy? No, she... <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was in the hallway doing her squeaky, squeaky. Yeah, baby. Uh, anyway, sorry, am I missing questions? I know there's so many. You guys are so amazing. We're good. Let's see. Old and Vera, Vera quality is amazing. My favorite was the interior. Uh, was that the interior was quilted? Yes, the yes. Side pockets didn't droop. Or yes, the sides yes. Of bag down. The details. Yes, yeah. they mm -hmm. were tacked in better. Not this loosey goosey like inside out stuff. Um, Is it? Can we see your the umbrellas. umbrellas a little bit? Yeah. Um, yes, we can look at them. To answer your question, I don't think Lug has done umbrellas yet. Um, I have one of the mini umbrellas in Garden Dream. I have a couple non-Vera umbrellas, and I have some outlet versions, and a, an outlet mini in Amethyst, uh, no, Bach, whatever. And I have a pink elephants, uh, Ellie Pink, I think it's called, or Ellie Medallion, something like that. It's on Lug Life, I almost died. Oh, you're talking about the new material? Or an umbrella? They did? Cool. I didn't know they did. Cool. And so it's coming out with all the new um, vegan leather then. Sweet. No umbrellas. Yep. Awesome. Well, I'm going to have to go shopping then. <laughs> we are doomed. <laughs> we are. I have too many umbrellas already and I have more out by the door. I have this like copper thing and the big ones are stuck in there. And oh, by the way, we live in Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> Really Clear blue mean. sunny skies 90% of the year or more. Well, we can use them for shade. True, true. I do I do that, actually. And when I travel, I always take one of my little ones. Um, hi, Marlene. I ordered a vegan leather bag today. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm anxious to hear what you all think if you get those bags, um, how they feel. Like, I have the vegan leather from Jujubee in the Million Pockets backpack, and it is buttery soft. I really, really like it. And uh, I really don't know what vegan leather is. Like, what is it actually? Is it Nogahide? Or, like, what is it made from? I have no idea. But, but yeah. Did you answer about your favorite Vera custom pattern? My favorite Vera custom pattern? Uh, I don't know what the current ones are. But I can tell you my favorite Vera custom pattern. I might even have it here. Yeah, right here. Java purple. Because purple. Mm -hmm. And this is in a Vera. 
I also have the Carson, but the Java Purple is, you know, it's the only custom Vera I own. I have a custom Carson that matches, and I bought my aunt a matching one too. And the interior is like a foulard on there. So that's it. But this came out as Java Blue. The Java Purple was never available in a regular bag, only via the custom. But I love it, so I had to get that. Do you have a favorite material, like cotton or lighten up? Or... Um, I'm going to say no. Because if you were to say what is the majority that I have, it would be cotton. But that's because cotton was the thing that was out first. But in certain situations, I definitely prefer the lighten up or reactive or midtown or performance twill. Oh, vegan's um, made out of plastic. Is it made of plastic? Yeah. Hmm. Saves animals, but terrible for the environment. It's really it's terrible for the environment. It's supposed environment. to be better. I don't get all that. Am I back? You're live. Yes. Okay. I'm back. Everybody still there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I got a spam call and it bumped my thing. I'm sorry about that. Yay, I'm back. Yay. Sorry for hey, that. Um, did you, let's see, I had a question about factory or outlet. Do you Have prefer I factory ever... or outlet? Um, it depends. Uh, sometimes the factory has had better quality than the outlet. I mean, than the retail. And sometimes I like the pattern better uh, or a certain style that's only on one side or the other. So that is a factor. I, I can't say globally I like one or the other, honestly. What's your biggest Vera Lug Jujube regret? Ah, there's a video coming about that soon. I've really had to think long and hard about that. Was that Amber? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I know, I've asked 20 times, she said. Yes, she yes, yes. Amber, I haven't forgotten. I, I It just keeps getting bumped because I've been shopping way too much. Sorry. Um, but I would say my biggest regret is buying too much of the stuff. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But like I have, I don't know, a couple dozen pairs of flip-flops. I'm never going to wear all those out in my life. I have a color for every occasion. But yeah, so that kind of thing. It just... Um, but that's the biggest, the biggest regret. Does the outlet sell retail items? Yes, they do. They sell them sometimes, but it's usually a clearance capacity. And so you can't bank on that. Um, there were some other questions I missed. Um, biggest regret. <laughs> I love that question, Amber. I, I haven't forgotten. Just bought my first GGB oh, oh. Be Quick embossed. Have you ever had a Vera Bradley item repaired? Have I? Uh, only my own repair like if something arrived to me defective I sent it back and got it replaced right away and they're very very good about that I actually just had something from Stephanie Dawn also if you watch that video that came and was defective and they replaced it immediately um, so that's great um, I haven't had that happen with lug but I know they're really good about it as well uh, but any repairs or minor things like uh, I've worn it out or something is broken in my possession that I was using I fixed it and it was minor, nothing big. Are you planning to get anything in the new Vera patterns they just released? The seawater blooms or the mauve? No. Well, but I did get some of the doggy stuff. So that is arriving in a couple days, I think. So I got the dog bowls and the doggy bag holder and the harness. Kelly does not need it, but I got the whole little outfit thing going. And she already has a dog bed, so I did not get the best in show dog bed because, as Ryan can attest, Kelly has enough beds. <laughs> There's a bed in every room, two or three in some rooms, so she, she doesn't With need it. With throws on them. No yeah, well, that makes them easier to wash. So. <laughs> Anyways, Kelly's right here watching me like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, was there anything while we're in the bag room that you guys wanted to see? I get a lot of questions about how I fold or organize or store things. You're seeing it real time right now. Um, happy to answer. By the way, welcome Taylor to the Emboss and Jujubee. I really, really love Jujubee and especially the pouches. I am a B-set fanatic. Um, having fun with that. Hi, Angie. All right. Hope they do soon. Is there a retired bag you wish you had purchased? 
Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you so very much. And hopefully we don't get disconnected. Although, y'all, we're at 43 minutes already. <laughs> Impressed. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. Have you ever, um, is there a retired bag you wish you had bought? Um, I would say yes, but then you're going to ask me what was it. Uh, yeah, things come and go, and sometimes I wait because, and, and it may not even be retired. It could just be something that came out, and I took a chance on not paying full price up front because that gets really ridiculous. And I got ahead of the power curve, so I had to throttle back and wait and let them go to sale first and then get some. So sometimes when you take that gamble, they go out of stock, especially the way Vera does it now. They're not like unlimited quantities. So I now have to assess, do I think this item is going to sell out? If so, I'll get the best deal I can on it up front and take my chance. Otherwise, if I maybe don't need it or it's not tops of my list, I'll take a chance and wait for it to go on sale or maybe even show up on the online outlet sale. Let's see, I've got a question. Uh, which style of bag do you own the most of? <laughs> Backpacks. Uh, all sizes. So if you were here earlier, I have two full shelves of like four stacks of each in all kinds of backpacks and that's just mostly Vera stuff. Plus I have all my Jujube ones, all of my lug ones that are either convertible or straight up backpacks. Plus I have all of my purse backpacks which are, oops, sorry now I just kind of it. So there's a bunch of them up there, two big stacks of Vera purse backpacks. So backpacks on the whole is my, my top. We have another question. How do you my large stuff. Okay, well, I'm already disconnected. Let's look at them. You want me to hold it? No, thanks. It? Yeah, it's easier to aim this way. Um, so the large duffels, I have them folded two ways because I haven't gone through and refolded them. I want to refold them like this. I know. I'm gonna pull it out into the light. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now you can hold that. Okay, but tilt it down, please, towards me. There you go. Um, so this way is that I've tucked the ends in, just pinch the end in on either end, tuck the straps in the middle so it's unzipped, and then just fold the bottom in half as well so you get that kind of milk carton fold. And this I think will give me more storage room if I do them this way. The other way I have them, I'll just put this aside, is like this. So this is the other way. This is how they were stored, but I think it's a little bulkier. And since it's a big shelf, I'm going to change it. But this one was, you do the same thing. You unzip it, tuck the straps in, and then you have the top and bottom of the ends. So it kind of comes to a point and then you fold it in half. And so it kind of looks like that. But I think, again, these are just thicker this way. And this is one of my space saving things to fold it the other way. So that's that's how I fold my duffels. Does that answer that question? There, I'll give you that back yeah. and go back to the lottery. There we go. Sorry, a lot of movement. <laughs> okay, we're back in the rack. Okay. Are the lounge fly backpacks comfortable on us bigger gals? Yes, actually. And here, let me turn this to face the jujube stuff and we'll step over to the jujube closet for a second. Hi Kelly baby. Hi. Okay. I know. Did you want out? Yes. I know. You want out. Okay. So jujube backpacks. There are multiple kinds. One kind is the BFF and this one is very generous straps. They are removable. Let me see. Let me hook it up real quick. So you can see the straps are just, oh goodness. I just put them on crisscrossed. Okay. Oh, there's two. This one's not crisscrossed. <laughs> All right. But these straps, you can see very, they're not even all the way out, but very comfortable and very roomy for sure. And the padding, very comfortable. Now, what about the purse size backpacks? Yes. If you're, if you're maybe, a different shape maybe this is the mini b you are this is a mini b 
and this one has some padding and a mesh on it. But these straps, I think, are the shortest of the purse backpacks from Jujubee. And this is all the way out. These are the ones that I modified and I put those snaps on them so that they don't come out of the latch there. I did a video about it. What's this not snapping? Oh, because my snap sucks. Anyway, but even these ones, there, there's plenty of room. Very comfortable. Can you show a Glenna and a mini Glenna for size comparison? Um, I can, but it's in the closet. Nah. Both of those are in the closet. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that down for another video. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but back to still answering the question, the purse backpacks from Juju B. This is the midi, and the midi has different kind of straps. So this one is not padded. Actually, I haven't tried this one on, but... I'll just put the straps all the way out. I think this one is much more generously sized, as you can see. I mean, plenty, plenty of give, and it sits nice and low. This one is in Tweeting Pretty, by the way. Have you ever tried out Dagny Do Dover? Uh, someone recommended that. I haven't tried it yet, no. But I did look at it. I just haven't bought anything yet. Sorry, stand over here. Is Taylor? Was that the one that recommended yeah. before? I think it was. Have you ever tried it? She said that she got a, lot of, a leather bag from them and bought uh, it secondhand and loves it. Great organization. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't bought any yet, but I am looking at them. Do you have the Kipling Gate uh, Gabble Smalls? I'm curious how big it actually is, especially versus. I don't have the Gabby. Is that is that um, Clara? Uh, no, Jenny's asking. Jenny, Clara has. Do, Clara, don't you have Gabby's? I don't have the Gabby. I just have the Elena and some backpacks. Um, Ali Lee, thank you. New to these type of videos. This is my very first live, um, so welcome to that. Yay! And I think we've got about nine more minutes. We'll call it a good hour for the first one. That's impressive. Um, I'm wondering how you get into this. Um, Allie, are you asking how I get into the video part of it or the collection, the addiction, the passion? Which part of that are you asking about? Because it kind of just evolved all of it together. Out west. Oh, does VB send any to you? No. Okay. So here's the scoop on that. We, we started that discussion. So I am in the insiders. They are aware of me in general. Um, I, through the insiders, they did a test of an item. Um, they gave it to 20 of the, I guess it was 1,910 of us at the time. They gave it to 20 of us. So we tested it and provided feedback and I got to keep the item, but I can't talk about it because I don't have written permission. And that was a while back. The item has now been released and it's out there. So there's no giveaways. I couldn't tell you any secrets ahead of time. But that's the only thing I've actually received from them. Um, I think once the channel gets a little bit bigger, I can formally ask to be an influencer, but that hasn't happened for that with them for an affiliate thing. But that being said, Jujube has a creative crew and they bring in four or five people uh, every six months. I did actually, even though I was brand new to Jujube, because I dove in so hard and so fast, I did apply for that. Um, I did not get selected, which is not surprising, um, but they are aware of me. They leave comments on my videos and my Instagram pretty regularly. So I'm hoping that in the fall, maybe I can become a Jujube um, creative crew. I am a non-contractual affiliate with Stephanie Dawn, if you've been following that. Um, and I have no relationship with Lug, but Lug does also know who I am. And um, Lug is just an amazing, fun, they're hands-on. Like, I think Vera used to be more hands-on, but they're so big now, they've kind of gotten away from a lot of that. But hey, uh, They're asking about the Vera Bradley annual outlet event. Um, once or, once or, once yeah, I, I did. Met. The... Thank you, Amber. Um, what's the question about the live? Like, I mean, about the annual show. Have you ever been to the, to the Have I been to it? event? I went one time in 2018 and I shopped like it was my job. I got some amazing deals. I came home. I think that was the beginning of the 
retirement surge. Like that is what really, really kickstarted everything. Um, and I met Barbara Bradley Bygard. I bought her books and she, I have her autographs and we have lots of pictures together and nobody was there in line. So I talked to her for quite a while. And every time I went back around, she was at center stage and she, we would talk to each other from, hi, Michelle, hi, Barbara, good to see you again. Uh, so that was fun. I was supposed to go, I skipped 19. I was supposed to go in 20, but it was canceled. So then I was supposed to go in 21 and that was canceled. So I don't know, maybe again in 22, we'll try it. Do you have to buy tickets to enter that? You do not have to buy tickets, but here's the deal. The sale goes for five days. The first three days, there are ticketed sessions, so it's like $5 you pay. But, you know, you get first hack at the inventory. So it is worth it if you're going to be in the area and you have the extra days to just be there. It's quite an experience. I shopped at least one session each day. Um, and then the weekend is free sessions, but you have to wait in line and wait for a chance to get in. So, you know, that being said, even though the inventory is kind of diminishing the whole time, they have a lot of resupply in there as well. And they'll have pop-up deals all throughout all of the sessions. So it's not like if you go on Sunday, you're gonna miss out on everything. It just kind of depends. So I don't know if that answers your question. There is a video um, from my shopping experience in 18. Um, so if you wanna look at that as well. Is there products you wish BB had that they don't? Hmm, I don't know. Vera has so much stuff. I mean, um, I, I, the answer is yes, but to get down to the nitty gritty of that question, I'd have to say, yeah, there's certain items that I love a particular style and it didn't come out in a pattern or I wanted it in the reactive pattern, but it only came out in the cotton or vice versa. So it's usually little things like that, but they have such a diverse I mean, everything. I, I really can't say there's anything they don't have. Do, can you do a little close-up of your earrings, Jenny's? Oh, earrings Jenny! Our blue ribbons for CVS. My very amazing, talented Aunt Jean made these for me. She does a lot of beadwork. She's incredibly talented. And she made these blue ribbon earrings for me. And I might be auctioning some off on eBay with my fundraiser because I, she made some extra pairs yeah, so thank you. That's a great question. Matches my tattoo on my arm. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos, but on my shirt. I want to go on a cruise so bad. Me too. Ugh. I also, now going back, I know this is way back. But y'all were asking about what luggage for the cruise. I have to for sure take my aerial in nautical as well. So... It may be my second carry-on, or I may pack it in my suitcase just to have that big running amok bag for on the ship and stuff, because that is so cool. Yeah, loving that. And then if you haven't seen the inside of this, by the way, it's red, white, and blue stripes. <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah, that's a huge bag. I have a question here, I'm not sure, Ooh, from sorry. Belinda. What has been your favorite Vera Bradley collab? Oh, does that make sense? yes, yes, it does. <laughs> um, my favorite Vera Bradley collab. Oh, gosh. I have to think. Oh, no, that's not a collab. I'll have to think about that because they've done a lot of collabs, but I don't have access to all of them. Like, there was a Starbucks one that I couldn't even touch because it was, like, Asia only, but I really liked that pattern. Um, I'm looking at my stuff. I do have some collab items. <laughs> I can't even think right now. I'm on a brain freeze on that. I know all you guys um, going on this cruise. It's, uh, Linda said, "Can you imagine all of us at the luggage carousel?" <laughs> I tell you, I packing for yes. packing for the cruise last year because it was such an epic adventure, and I needed to overpack because I was gonna be gone for so long, and I had to plan smartly. It started like months in advance, putting things aside. I like put them all on the guest bed and started sorting things and adding to the pile and taking things away. And I feel like. Whatever bag doesn't get taken feels sad and left out. I know they're inanimate objects and they don't have feelings, but yeah. <laughs> so packing is hard because there's there is such a thing as having too many options because they're all great. You know, they're all great options. Amber had to Amber had to jump off. Gotta run. Thanks, Amber. We'll see you. Thank you so much. 
My first live as you. Oh, thank you. You guys are awesome. Auction. I can't That's wait to go back and read all these comments and see what else I missed. The Disney patterns. Show I Disney patterns. okay. You like Disney? Vera Disney or all the Disney? Vera, uh, Vera, Vera Disney. Disney. Okay. Um, let me pull a few things out. Oh, so, it's not those over there. Those little oh. backpacks. These are Disney. Those are Lounge Fly. They're not Vera. Oh. Um, here's some Vera Disney. Are, these are, I kept them together, but not the big bags. So let's see, we've got some of the patterns. Probably my favorite Vera Disney, which might answer the collab question, actually. This one is um, Midnight with Mickey, I think it was. But it's, again, right up my wheelhouse with the dark background and the bright colors. And look at all the hidden Mickeys in the patterns. You have them here, you have overt Mickeys as well. But then you have all the, there's Mickey heads here, and it's just bright, bright, happy colors and happy Minnie and Mickey. Um, so I like that one. And then we've got Mickey and Friends, I think this was. And this one actually kind of matches with Pretty Posies with the gray and the florals, happy colors. I'm not so big on the gray background, though. And then there is Mickey's Magical Blooms. I like this, again, dark background with bright colors. And I love the teals in this color. Um, so that's some of them. I do have more. I have Disney blankets, too. And here's Mickey's, I think it was Paisley Celebration. Ooh. Mickey's Paisley Celebration. So it has the purples and blues. And it has the castles. Yeah, so that's some of the Disney stuff for sure. Angie just ordered a large on the go from uh, Destin, Florida outlet, a Mickey Paisley. This one that I just showed, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I do have a duffel in the Magical Blooms as well. And also in the Midnight with Mickey. Um, and then, wait a sec, because Jujubee has Disney as well. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get out this one. This is, okay, so Jujubee has a more de fleur, which is Disney patterns. If you haven't seen this one, all the little teal pieces are silhouettes of Minnie and Mickey. And there's also hidden Mickey heads, like this circle right here with an ear and an ear. There's a hidden Mickey head right in the center. So I super love that. Oh. Isn't that cool? And then the interior has Mickey head shaped flower things. So that's that one. I'm making a mess of bags everywhere now. Um, Did that answer the Disney? Do you think they'll make Disney masks this year with the purses? I hope so. By the way, if you're a Vera Disney fan, there is a brand new pattern coming out. I want to say on the 11th. For some reason, I want to say that. But it's coming. It's coming very soon. I have not seen the pattern yet, but it is coming. And so they might. I did hear... Not the details, but I heard they're coming out with some new styles this time. So it's possible. And I, I think because they're pretty heavy on the masks and they'll charge a, a hefty price for it being Disney and no discounts and all that. So I'm sure they will because they did with Harry Potter. So probably. What yeah, else? After seven. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap it up for time. It doesn't, I don't know what the limit is, but that's a lot. Okay, any last questions before we go? I will go back and look at all of these comments and if there were questions that we missed, I will put together a video. So please don't feel left out. It's just, it goes by so fast with the comments. Um, so I will, I will answer all of them and we can do more lives in the future. So just make sure that you explain more about the auction. Yes, I, I definitely will tell you more about the auction. And y'all, we got so into all of this other stuff. We didn't go through all of the items, but the, all the videos have been posted. If you want to see what's out there that you can start sort of pre-shopping, you can look at all of the videos that are titled CVS Update, or CVS Auction Update, rather. And that will run through all the items as they came in over the last year. How about Vera Bradley hand sanitizer holder? Those I I don't have any inside info on, but I heard that they were delayed until May. They actually were pulled back off the site, I think. So I don't know what the delay is, but they are coming, and that's all I know about them. 
you want to just wrap up and for people yeah. that join late about the auction because you yeah. can hit that at the very beginning it definitely will um, I just want to make sure there's no other questions before we do that thank you thank you Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for those that came after, at the very beginning we talked about the auction. This is the kickoff event, so if there were questions about anything, um, the items themselves, we could show them, we could talk more about them. But the auction is actually taking place on eBay. I'm sorry if there was a miscommunication or misunderstanding about that. Um, but they will all be showing 90% going to CVSA. Don't be confused by that either. 100% of the proceeds will go to CVSA. And CVSA is aware that I'm doing this. They're very excited, as am I, because it's been such an amazing response from all of you. And the, the way that, the only thing that's not going to them is the cost for the PO box, which is 134, and the cost for the shipping supplies, which was 380 uh, as so far. But once the auction is over, any remainder that I've held back in that 10% is all still going to CVSA. So it is still all going to them. I'm not keeping any of the items or any of the proceeds at all. This is 100% for charity, nonprofit. So thank you to all of you in advance for your shopping. But more importantly, thank you for your donations because I couldn't do it without you. And I've just been absolutely overwhelmed with your generosity and very humbled by it all. So thank you, thank you very much. And don't forget to wear blue next year on March 5th. All right, all right. bye for now. Take care y'all, washi washi. Bye.